Hello everyone and welcome to our Box Mode webinar. My name is Vlad and I work in marketing at Box Mode. We are live on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, please note that there is around 20 seconds broadcast lag, so this might cause some communication delay. We are going to start in a minute. How are you today? Let me know if you can hear me okay in the chat. Let me know if you can hear me. Hi, John. Thanks for joining. Hi, Alex. Um, and I'm curious to know if you already have an experience with uh, online store or is just uh, the first time you will see what it is. Hi, Ian. Thanks for joining. John, thanks for letting me know. Well, um, those of you who already have experience with online stores, uh, it should be easier to follow along today. And for those of you who don't have um, any experience, it also should be not that difficult, as you will see that uh, the tools that we are going to, uh, to use today are really intuitive. Okay, I see. I'm, well, I, I think we can start. Um, hello once again. My name is Vlad and I'm Product Marketing Manager at Box Mode. And thank you so much for joining our webinar. And today we're going to talk about how to launch an online store with a Box Mode. Uh, but first, let me say a couple of words about us. Uh, we're a young website building platform. And we believe that creating websites must be accessible to everyone, regardless of uh, technical knowledge, uh, experience or budget and our platform offers uh, an intuitive and easy to use tools for creating and managing online stores and websites and with the help of our tools you can quickly deploy a professional looking website or online store even without any formal training in web development so uh, if you don't want to be uh, dependent on the uh, third party uh, web agencies or developers for building and maintaining your online store uh, we got you covered and uh, during this webinar i will walk you through the process of building an online store uh, using our tools uh, first we'll start with inventory management and we'll uh, review how to add the pro new products uh, we will <coughs> review some important tools for product customization and categorization uh, then we'll talk about uh, shipping options and options for accepting payments. We'll also briefly touch on the subject of uh, store promotion and marketing channels. Also, we'll review uh, reports and analytics tools. So we have scheduled around 40 minutes uh, for the main part of this webinar. But at the same time, uh, we won't be able to, to unfold every aspect 
as the store is very comprehensive and the main point today is to provide you with the basics and with directions uh, that will help you to get started and to add more interactivity uh, to this webinar i will make a couple of breaks brief breaks uh, to check the chats uh, along the way to answer a couple of questions if there are going to be any along the way and after the webinar i'll try to address other questions i might not have an answer to some of the questions right away mm, i'll definitely find it after the webinar uh, in our facebook group we are going to post uh, uh, make a post uh, after the webinar where we will address all the questions including the, tri the trickiest ones so i invite you to join our facebook group you will find the uh, link in the description the recording also of this webinar is going to be uploaded to our YouTube channel. Also, it's going to be sent to your email address. Uh, so you have an opportunity to check it out again later at your own pace and try it on your own website. And during this webinar, we'll be working in two tabs uh, on the back end of the store management and on the front end. So we'll examine how what we do on the back end influences the front end and how your store will look uh, from the perspective of the end customer so without any further ado let's go to the box mode and start building a store and for this we would need to have a box mode website where we can add an online store widget now, those of you who do not have a box mode website it's really really easy to create one you can just go to the boxmode.com and register a free account and after that you'll be able to create a free website based on the template so just pick the template you like, uh, click on start the website for free, and it will basically uh, generate a uh, ready-made website. And the templates, they can be customized and fly to fit your unique use case. Um, and uh, since uh, this webinar is about store management, uh, we are not going to cover the front-end customization aspect, which is pretty much intuitive. Uh, if, when you start working with it and if you wish to learn more about this subject uh, you could check out one of our previous webinars uh, where uh, we covered this question in more detail and I'll ask my colleague to share a link in in the chat with you I already have created a jewel store website so I won't be doing that again and um, this is how it looks uh, in the uh, edit mode and if you just started the first thing that you would need to do is uh, to uh, add the store widget to your website and to do this you just click on the store um, icon on the left panel here and click on add a project button and after this the system will add a new page to your website with the store widget uh, you will start with the free forever demo plan so you can test uh, things before deciding whether it's working for you or not. Uh, but the demo plan is rather limited in terms of uh, functionality. And uh, during this webinar, we're going to be using the paid subscription plan uh, so that we can cover s like all the cool features uh, for the store management and promotion. Uh, we will be working with the uh, back end of the store that you can manage um, when you click on manage a store option that you will see here. So uh, once you go to the store management, uh, in the dashboard you will see the reports and also you will see the setup guide that you can use um, as an instructions and let's do it together. So the uh, first step is going to be uh, to build an inventory of products to sell. And to do this, we would need to go to the uh, catalog tab and in the products. So here you can add new products manually or you can import products uh, in bulk from another e-commerce system using this uh, convenient interface. And every uh, new store it comes with a number of sample products uh, which you can simply bulk remove by uh, using the bulk update option here um, and before adding new products if we decide to go manual route I recommend you to prepare text and images up front and add them to separate folders from my experience uh, it makes the uh, building process way seamless and easier and uh, I already have such folder with products. It has different 
um, product items here with uh, text and description. So let's um, start with add a new product. So let's add, click on this option, add a new product. Uh, say we're adding the classic wedding ring. Uh, let's put a product description. As a description, you can use not just a text, but it also can be uh, like images, videos. You can customize it the way you want. Now the stock keeping unit. Um, so it corresponds with uh, your inventory. And then let's add the weight. It's going to be important for shipping. Obviously, if you're selling digital goods, we can omit this field. As for the weight and size units and pricing, it can be customized based on your country in the general uh, settings of your store. And this was one of the questions that we received from you uh, before the webinar. So you can set it up uh, in the regional settings. Uh, you can change the currency. You can change the, change the store language time zone, uh, weight and size units. So basically you have all you need to localize your store. I'm not going to do this now. So now let's add the uh, images. Let's add three images. Um, the first image in this row is going to be the front image that will be shown uh, is an, a thumbnail preview on product listing page and a product detail page. So if you wish to uh, substitute the front image, you can just grab the one that you want to, uh, to be the front image and put it uh, here as the first one. So now let's uh, set the price. Let's make it 300 and uh, set the stock quantity, let's say 15. So the automatic email will notify you as soon as you are running low on inventory. So it will be triggered as soon as uh, the stock quantity reaches the number that you enter in this field. So let's save the changes. So now as we have added the basic uh, product settings, we can now put this product into respective category. And there are many reasons why Mm, categorization is important for e-commerce and, and marketing uh, because throughout uh, like through the the accurate uh, classification of your products you can increase conversion rates you can improve uh, rankings in search it will ease the user navigation and so on I already added four different categories here uh, but in case if you want to manage the categories of products you have, you just we need to go to this uh, category step under the catalog. And by default, you will have the store front page category where you can put uh, products that will be featured on the store front page, like you can see here. And below, you can see a list of all root categories. We can add more, as many as we want. Root category thumbnail is going to be also displayed on the storefront page. In addition to categories, uh, you can add also subcategories. So let's say you want to add the uh, wedding rings subcategory. So all we need to do is to choose the parent category, click on uh, subcategory, and, and uh, say wedding rings. And uh, you can illustrate your uh, category with image or description if you wish so let's do this and let's save the change and now as we have this uh, subcategory and if we go back to our product page let's refresh it we can now put our red and green to this uh, red and green subcategory of products let's apply save the change and now if we go to our front end of the store, we can check how it's gonna look uh, from the perspective of the end user. So if we go to the rings category, here we'll see this wedding ring subcategory and here we'll find our product. Okay, so now let's move on to another tab. Um, it's attributes. Um, in this tab, you can assign products to respective types. Uh, the type will contain a list of certain attributes that will serve as a framework for describing your product. And having such framework, it will save you tons of time and make your product description more uh, consistent when writing 
product details for similar products. To demonstrate how it works, first we would need to uh, add a respective product type. For this purpose, we need to go uh, to the product type under the settings. So, and uh, let's add a new product type. So in our example, since we're selling jewelry, we can find jewelry product type. Uh, we can narrow it down to make it more specific, such as ring, necklaces, earrings, but uh, depending on what you want to do. Let's stick with the jewelry for now. So in addition to these default attributes that come with a jewelry product type, uh, jewelry is typically distinguished uh, by metal, so we can add metal and say the uh, main stone. Uh, you can think about which attributes are intrinsic to the products that you sell. And we can just save it. Now let's return back to our uh, wedding ring. I'll just close this one and put it to this uh, type that we just added. Uh, it's not necessary to enter all the details. I'll just enter the, the, the brand and the metal. And let's save the change. And now if we refresh, uh, if you open this uh, detailed product page, we will see that um, these uh, attributes are highlighted under the product details. Also, you will see that later uh, these product attributes will serve as an advanced search filter, which is really cool. Okay, so now uh, let's discuss options. Um, and uh, if you have, um, if you sell products that have variants like colors and sizes, for example, uh, maybe you also offer like uh, uh, wrappings or, and so on. So you can use different um, product options. So how it work? So say we're selling rings and rings could have different sizes. So let's add a size option and we can leave the, leave the input type as radio buttons as it's suitable for the size. And let's add a couple of uh, sizes here like this and um, different uh, sizes, they could have different costs because uh, the bigger in is the like it could wait more uh, so we can correlate the price uh, accordingly accordingly to the size so let's add a small correlation here and we can save the change now and if we uh, refresh our um, detailed product page we'll see that uh, additional options are going to be added um, and so let's add another option let's say let's name it wrapping and two variants like uh, not wrapped and wrapped the wrapped option let's say is going to cost ten dollars more again let's save the change and refresh our page and to check how it looks and now we have the wrapped option added as well so once you have options, you can create different product variations. So say you're selling t-shirts and uh, they can vary in size and color. So you can say add a uh, small red t-shirt or medium blue t-shirt and so on. This will help you to track inventory of each product variation separately, which will provide uh, customer with the most relevant information and will help you to prevent uh, overselling and also to provide the actual picture of the product. In our case, let's create a variation based on the wrapping. Let's uh, create a wrapped variation. It could have a different uh, stop keeping unit number. It, it will have a different weight and also a different uh, stock number. And also we can change a picture for this variation um, like this and save the change. And now if we go to our detailed product page and if customer will uh, choose the wrapped option, different picture will be shown, the different uh, number of stock will be displayed 
and so on. So, um, in addition to physical products, um, you can also sell digital items. And this was also one of the questions that we received from you during, this, uh, during the registration to this webinar. Whether it is possible to use a store for online uh, courses. So, yes, it is possible. You can upload here like different files, like media files, uh, um, music, uh, photos, videos, and so on. So, and the unique link to the file that you upload here is going to be sent automatically to the customer's email address after they make a purchase. Okay, let me make a break, take a break and check the chat. Uh, question from John, what is the subscription cost? Well, you can check the subscription costs of uh, the store if, by going to the details here. And you can see that we have a free demo version and we have basic business in a limited store. A basic store will cost you $15 uh, per month or $150 per year. Um, business store 29 as you can see or 290 per year and unlimited will cost you 99 per month or 990 per year well question from alex will the checkout work on a demo plan um no on the demo plan the checkout will not work and uh, on, instead of the checkout the person will receive the message that this is a demo store and uh, it has to be upgraded for the checkout to work so we don't have any more questions um, let's move on to the tax and the shipping and if this is a physical good obviously it's it must be delivered so this option should be enabled um, your default uh, stores shipping methods are going to be automatically assigned to every new product on, on the store. Uh, but before uh, it will be assigned, we need to add it first. And to do this, we would need to go to the shipping and the pickup tab here. And based on uh, your location, you will be shown a different shipping methods to connect. In case if you're United States, you will see the FedEx, USPS, UPS. Uh, if you are in um, United Kingdom, you will see the Royal Mail, GLS. If you're in Australia, you will see Australian Post and Canada, Canada Post and so on. The flow for connecting mm, the shipping method is um, straightforward. You just simply click on Add a Shipping Method, choose the one that we want, uh, say we will go with USPS. And based on your shipping strategy, you can set up the respective uh, options here. So it can be automatically calculated rates from USPS. Uh, for this option to work correctly, we need to make sure that uh, the products will have the correct weight and dimensions here. Uh, or it could be a free shipping or conditional free shipping or flat rate. So this is, uh, it depends on what type of product you are going to um, you're going to sell. So well, let's go with automatically calculated uh, shipping rates from USPS. And that's it with the setup. And um, in case if you have the business account registered with the uh, respective uh, carrier, you can, uh, they usually provide a lower shipping rates. So I suggest you register with the respective uh, carrier first and then you can uh, connect uh, connect it here using this interface so let's go back um, by default your shipping origin address is going to be the same as your business address and if the address from where you ship uh, your mm, uh, orders is different from your company address you can check it change it in here so um, you're not limited to one option and you can use a combination of different options so it gives you more flexibility uh, to facilitate different shipping strategy for example let's add the local delivery yeah as a shipping option make a free delivery and we can set uh, the free delivery zone we can use the, this uh, map interface to 
um, create a zone where you would like uh, to ship your products for free. Let's save, save the change and that's it. So we have added another shipping method. So you can have multiple shipping options to cover different shipping strategies. So you're not limited to one. So we have added this free delivery and USPS shipping methods to our store. And let's return back to our product. Uh, let's leave this uh, default shipping method for this product. But if you have some specific products that require a unique shipping approach, you can add a specific uh, payment, a specific uh, shipping method to the product that will rewrite the default shipping method of the store. And as for the taxes, uh, for users from United States, uh, Canada, Australia and Europe, tax rates are calculated automatically based on the store and a customer's location uh, if you are on the paid plan. So while checkout, the customer will be charged the proper amount of tax um, according to country and regional tax rules. So the tax laws are constantly changing and your online store will stay up to date on the tax law if you are from the aforementioned regions. If you're not from United States, Canada, Australia or Europe, I would like to say that we won't be able to offer you specific advice for a business. So I strongly recommend speaking with a tax advisor um, before you launch a business to ensure you collect the, the appropriate amount of taxes. And if it comes to the point where you need to manually set the taxes, it can be done in the settings. Where you can add uh, under the taxes, where you can manually add different tax rules based on the, on the regions. So let's close this tab. So let's move on to another uh, tab here. It's SEO. Um, here you can customize the page meta title and the meta description that will be shown uh, in, in, in the search result snippets in Google and other search engines. And in addition, I'd like to say that by default, our products will have a so-called schema markup. Those of you who are not familiar with it, it basically means uh, it's additional meta information uh, that provides search engines with explanations on how to exactly display your product in a search. So when someone searches for the product you provide, it will be shown uh, in a nice way using the, the picture, title, description and uh, price that you set in the store, which is really cool. And the last tab for product customization, it's related product tab. Um, it will help you to set the cross sale option. So let's add one. Let's add another ring here and save the change. And if we switch to our product uh, page, we'll see that uh, this ring that we just added is going to be shown under you may also like category here. OK, so let's talk about payments. If you want to accept payments from your um, you know, customers, from credit cards, uh, you can choose from one or from over like 50 different credit card payment providers for your online store. So whenever it is possible, your store automatically will show you uh, the most suitable payment uh, providers available in your region. And you can choose one of several or of, of these payment uh, methods for your customers. Obviously, you would need to set up an account with the respective uh, payment provider first, and then uh, the flow for connecting this payment method to the store is pretty much straightforward. Uh, you just click on connect and follow the instructions. I'll just, I will enable the PayPal for now and leave the cash and the PayPal options for the store. Another important thing is that you can offer a specific payment methods depending on a shipping choice. For example, we can set up the cash payment available only if uh, for a delivery, the, for the free delivery. Yeah, so which is really cool. So let's save the change. Okay, so we have finished with this product uh, 
customization. Now we can repeat this process and uh, to, to grow our inventory. And to make this process faster, uh, you can use duplicate option, uh, duplicate product option if you have similar products. Okay, let me check the chat. A question from John, where can I set my company's address? Um, you can check, you can change the uh, address under the general tab here in the settings. Whatever I, want, whatever I want to exclude some of the default shipping methods for some products. Uh, to do this, uh, you can go to tax and shipping settings of the product and specify the, click on specify the shipping method for product. Here you'll see the option disable, uh, disable specific methods and um, add the method you don't want to be used for this particular product. Okay, so I think we can uh, move on. So um, what if um, you have a big store basically uh, and you have lots of products. Obviously you would want to um, add some advanced search yeah, and advanced filter so it will ease the navigation uh, for customers and help customers to find uh, products by different criteria. So basically this is expected from any big online store nowadays. To enable and to customize the advanced search, uh, let's go to the product filter tab and it's under the settings here. Let's open it in a new tab. And in this tab, you can activate in one click the search by price range, search by categories, search by the phrase. And also you can add search by additional filters uh, like uh, attributes and options. And remember, we have added metal attribute. We also added main stone attribute. We added wrapping options. And all of them can be used as a filter in an advanced search. So let's add the metal for now. and we can activate it and if I go to the store and refresh the page so the uh, search option will appear for customers here and now they can use they can use it to uh, find to, to find the product they're looking for okay so what happens when customer places an order. So one, once customer places an order, uh, first you will receive an email notification about this and also you will find this under the orders uh, tab in my sales. You'll see here all of your orders and uh, their statuses, see which one are paid and needs to be shipped, which are not paid needs to be shipped and deal with them accordingly. Uh, you can customize the order in case customer changed uh, their mind uh, or you can add new items here to the order change payment method and so on and all the changes applied here also will be shown on the customers personal account as well so um, just having an online store isn't enough for people to find it yes so we need to promote it somehow and now let's check um, what options we have that will help you to boost your uh, sales and reach a greater audience and get the traffic flow into a store. So you can use the um, Facebook advertisements and Google advertisements. So if you have never done the online marketing before with Google Shopping and Google Ads or Facebook, these integrated applications that we have, they're extremely powerful and they're very intuitive and they will guide you through the process of launching the ad campaigns for promoting your products across Google, Google Shopping and Facebook. So this will help you to scale your sales uh, drastically. 
Uh, we won't be connecting this application today as it goes beyond the scope of this webinar and we are limited in time. Um, also, uh, since emails are one of the most powerful marketing acquisition and retention tools, we got you covered here. Automatic emails will help you to encourage the first purchase in case of uh, abandoned card or to drive repeat purchases, to uh, re-engage inactive customers, to collect feedback, to initiate more personal communication, uh, to offer discounts and so on. No additional setup is required as these uh, automated emails are enabled by default on a paid plan. Our email templates are available in more than 30 different languages and they are written in a way that is suitable for any business. But if it is required, you can customize it by just uh, clicking the Manage option next to the respective template. Um, first, you can check how it basically is going to look in customer's inbox. Uh, you can also apply different discounts to to uh, to these emails, and uh, if, if if it's required, you can edit it manually. In addition to that, you can send uh, the customers newsletters about promotion, news, etc., by connecting with the Mailchimp. Or if you don't want to use Mailchimp, you can always export the contacts of your customers and plug them into the service of your choice. And here is another awesome feature. Uh, in addition to um, advertising products on Google and, and the uh, Facebook, you can uh, also integrate with the Instagram shop so you can tag your products there. Also, you will have the option to uh, have, uh, you'll, you'll have the full-fledged integration with eBay and Amazon. And this will help you to get your online store products seen by millions of marketplace shoppers. For aforementioned integrations, uh, you would need to register a respective uh, profiles and accounts with the respective marketplaces. But the setup itself and the uh, connection with the store itself is uh, really straightforward. You can just follow the intuitive instructions. And um, so instead of having to manage uh, multiple stores on different marketplaces. Now you can manage your online store uh, from one place, so which is a huge time saver. And if you're a brick and mortar business, uh, you can connect with uh, your offline store, with your online store uh, using this square point of sale system. And it will help you to track both online and offline inventory and sales. And using this synchronization, it will help you to prevent discrepancies and overselling of your products. So, and the last one for today, uh, it's uh, analytics. And so to learn how better, how exactly your store is doing and mm, to have uh, access to lots of statistics and get insights into how existing mm, and potential customers find your and interact your store so you can integrate with uh, these powerful free tools including Google Analytics and, and after that you'll start receiving the most important metrics well analytics is as well as a big topic and deserves a separate discussion so we won't be connecting or reviewing it, these applications today but this is definitely something that you need to be aware of when you build your online store so uh, this is basically it with the store overview. And just to quickly wrap up, uh, Box Mode offers you a full featured and affordable e-commerce solution with lots of integrations that will help you to facilitate, among other things, uh, omnichannel e-commerce, social e-commerce. Of course, there are lots of things that we haven't covered during this webinar but at least we touched on the very basics and I and I hope that it will help you get started um, and now let me check the questions that you have question from John do you take it any transaction fees uh, no we don't take any transaction fees uh, we take only a subscription fee 
Uh, can I set up a recurring subscription? Uh, yes, you can set up the recurring subscription for your store. And for this purpose, uh, the first thing that you would need to do is to connect with the Stripe payment method. So you need to register an account with Stripe and then to connect it uh, to your store. And after that, in the settings under the uh, cart and checkout tab in general settings, you would need to activate the subscription option here. And after it is done, if, if you uh, switch to uh, any product, you will see the option to no. Let me refresh it. You'll see the option to use uh, the subscription uh, payment for this product. It's going to be here. Sell as a subscription. Well, um, thank you for being active in the chat and thank you for attending our webinar. I don't see any more questions. Um, just so we can just uh, think we can finalize our webinar. Uh, just stay tuned for recent platform updates, our plans, news, etc. You can join our Facebook community. Uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, to LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, you'll find all the links in the description to this video. Also, I'll ask my colleague to share respective links in the chat. Well, we don't have any more questions, so I think uh, I thank you so much for attending this webinar. I do appreciate your dedicated time and hope you found it uh, informative and useful. And see you next time. Goodbye.